Hey folks, just a quick update. As I was going through my get home bag, this is my temporary summer one. I may be replacing this. Um, that's why I haven't done an update video on this in a while. I was updating my uh, new Millennium Energy Bars. This is the food I keep in this because each one of these is about 400 calories each. So 400 calories, 400 calories, 400 calories. You know, that's 1,200 calories per day um, of food. So, anywho, um, as I was double-checking, making sure everything was going to work, I tried to get the cap off of my mini mag light. Now, as you can see, yeah, these are from a couple of uh, channel locks and vice grips. I even wrenched the... Let me get this in focus... Um, I even wrenched on this, you know, trying to uh, pull it apart and no such luck. Um, I'm going to see if I can still try and salvage this with the actual vise, but anyways, I think I tightened this up too much uh, when it went in storage. So, needless to say, I got to break out a spare. Um, the downside is this is the first generation, the Mini Mag Light in LED. Um, let's take a look. You have about 10 hours on high and 31 hours on low. The updated, now this has a multi-mode switch. It goes high, low, and then a blink mode, like a, like a flashing mode, then it does an SOS mode. Pain in the ass, but at the same time, the only reason why I like it is it has a 10 hour, oops, 10 hour uh, lifespan on high. 31 hours on low, uh, but the only downside is it's 77 lumens. If anybody from Maglite is watching this, um, if you can come out with, like, say, a 100 to, say, 120 lumens that has a long uh, lifespan on high, that would be awesome because uh, if you're going to be several days from home, you only have one extra ch change of batteries for this in AA, so... Um, that would help us preppers and survivalists out, um, quite a bit. So, um, yeah, just, uh, be careful when you're tight. If you do use these, use some anti-seize, uh, on the threads and there you go. So just a heads up. Thanks.